I'm the only one who's allowed to call him Maddie because that's what I've always called him. <laughs> um, well, to everybody here, I, I just want to humbly thank the American Brain Foundation for believing in what I do and honoring my family's effort in this very, very special way. Uh, my younger brother was diagnosed with autism in the 1950s when there was little known about the condition. I, I was six at the time, and honestly, I don't even know if there's been a day that's gone by where I don't struggle with what the puzzle of autism is. I don't know the life of not thinking about it on a daily basis for the last 60 years. Uh, and probably worrying about it every day probably explains why I was prematurely gray in my 20s and fully gray now. Um, you know, the, the gift of having a brother with autism, uh, which is a 